Well, just an hour ago, Governor Bruce Rauner officially announced that he is seeking a second term in 2018. He declared he is running in an online video. CBS News' Mike Puccinelli joins us live with the latest from the Thompson Center. Mike, good morning. Hi, and the Associated Press says this could end up being the most expensive governor's race in American history. We can throw in the towel, walk away, and leave our future to the same corrupt career politicians, or we can fight. I choose to fight. And that's a little of how it sounds on the governor's just released official re-election video announcement. The two minute long video is called I Choose to Fight. In it, the governor can be seen wearing a leather vest as he rides around the state on his motorcycle touting his accomplishments. Four years ago, candidates spent more than $100 million on the race for governor. This year, spending is expected to far exceed that. Earlier this month, the governor hit on some of his main talking points when asked if he planned to run for re-election. We can have a movement to dramatically change Illinois and improve our state. And I believe we can do this in the coming months. I will do everything I can to help lead that movement. We need to change. Our system's broken. We need dramatic change. And the governor faces a crowded field of challengers on the Democratic side. They include one of the world's richest men in J.B. Pritzker. He's been running ads for months. Robert Kennedy's son, Chris Kennedy, is also running. He runs business operations for one of America's best-known families. And State Senator Daniel Biss is also in the race, but he trails his well-heeled competitors badly when it comes to fundraising in this one. And the most expensive governor's race in American history cost well over $200 million. And analysts say this one could far exceed that. The race, actually, more than a year away now, not till November of 2018. Reporting live outside the Thompson Center, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Marissa, Aaron? All right, Mike, thank you.